Uh, so, yeah, some of it. Um, you know, it's tough. You know, it's no excuse, but the you know, second night of a back to back, um, and we got in pretty late. So I know guys are a little bit fatigued. Uh, but we got to find a way to fight through that. It's just the reality of the schedule. Um, but you know, I thought we we tr we competed. We we didn't do uh, we didn't always do things right. Um, I mean, I think overall we were we started the right the right way. Um, and I think it's it's one of those things where can you sustain it? You, you know, teams are going to go on runs, and sometimes you got to find a way to stop the bleeding. But uh, and I think at times when that happens, you, you get away from you know to continuing to play the right way. No, it's not. No, <laughs> it's not the normal. Normal amount, in my opinion. Um, um, it, ha it hasn't been, it's been gradual, but I think the, you know, I mentioned this before, we, we got to get the care factor up and we got to get back to playing for each other. It's, um, it's easy at times when, you know, shots going in and things are going our way, but, you know, when they aren't, you know, how do, you, how do we respond? And I think that's the challenge. Uh, there are a lot of reasons. I mean, it's not one big overlapping thing, um, but I just think uh, if I had to put my finger on one, you know, just all encompassing, it's just um, the desire to, to you know, do it together. It, we don't, at times, don't do that. Where does that stem from? Uh, that's, that's a really good question. I mean, I think it's a lot of it is, um, guys are trying to, you know, do things at times they're trying to do too much. Um, I think it, at times the ball sticks, we don't move it, share it as much as we, we should. Um, you know, I think it's the, the for me, the, the defensive end is something we can clean up. It's something we, I have to demand, uh, because that's, that's something that we can control the offense, whether we make shots or not, it's you know, some nights it, do, it just doesn't go in, but we can control the other side. Yeah. Well, they're a good team. There's no doubt. They're a very good team on both sides of the ball. Um, one of the best floor generals that probably has ever played. Uh, so he's going to pick you apart. At times, he's going to embarrass you, you know, and I think there's, there's that frustration. So we have to get beyond that, you know, and not fall into that game of, you know, one guy. It's, it's, it's a team sport. Uh, without knowing the numbers, you know, exclusively, yeah, it was a problem. And some of it was the switching. We were switching to kind of minimize the uh, initial impact of pick and rolls. That's, that's where this team really thrives. Um, but in doing so, you, you oftentimes have mismatches either in the post or on the glass. So uh, I think they, they exploited that. Uh, so it's not necessarily just, you know, drives to the paint, layups, that type of thing. But I think a lot of it was the, the switching that allowed their base kind of get below us or uh, with lack of size to score over us. Uh, it's, a, it's a tough one to calculate. Um, I think some are better than others, <laughs> but I, I can't give you like a number of one to ten. I don't know. Uh, you know, he's been, um, I've just seen over the last, you know, even since summer league, uh, there seems to be, um, it's slowed down for him. You know, I think that's just part of the natural maturation for a young player. The game feels really fast. And um, I think he's understanding how else he can impact the game by cutting, moving, Spacing the floor, uh, we, we know he, he, can, he can shoot the ball, but he's playing off the bounce a little bit more too. And not over dribbling, but you know, he, teams run at him, they put him, um, they chase him, they run him off the line. He's comfortable, he, becoming more comfortable rather, attacking the paint, um, finishing in, at the rim. You know, so it's a good thing to see. I think defensively too, he's, he's, he's given good effort. 
you know, and it's not, it's not always perfect, but he tries to make sure he understands the game plan, understands personnel, um, and gives an honest effort. All right, coach, we'll head over to Zoom and we'll start with Chase. Hey, Wes, um, lately, so, some of these losses, you guys have been going down by a lot. I think it's three out of the last four, 25 plus points you've trailed. Just how, how do you keep up morale when, you know, you're going through a stretch like this? It's difficult. Um, it's one of those things where you have to remind, you know, these guys how good we were, how good we're capable of being. It's not the end of the world. We're 15 and 15. Um, and we haven't played well over the last couple of weeks at all. So um, in light of that, you know, we're still in a, in, a, in a decent place with a lot of games to play. So we have opportunities to, to turn it around. The schedule is not going to do us any favors, you know, whether it's night back to back. It's one of the best teams in the West about to go to Utah and play another, you know, top tier team. So um, it is what it is. But, you know, I think it's also to remind them that we're very capable and we've shown that. The, the key and the challenge is how do we get back to, to playing closer to how we looked early in the year. And uh, Daniel Gafford went scoreless tonight. Was it just an off night for him or uh, was he playing through the injury that he had last night and that maybe limited him? I don't know if the injury had any effects. That's probably a better question for Daniel, but uh, just an off night, you know, it's not for the lack of effort. Um, and I have to give their bigs credit. Um, Aiden, McGee, they, they've been around, their length, their size, um, you know, make it tough. But, you know, some nights is just not, not your night. And are, are you encouraged by the way that uh, Brad's been playing lately, um, you know, the way he's been shooting and getting off to good starts? Yeah, no, it's very encouraging. I and mean, I think it's, uh, it's, good, it's a good sign to see uh, the ball go in. Obviously, there, there's a comfort level, and he's, I feel like he's starting to get his rhythm. Um, see more comfortable and more confident, rather, from three. Uh, so I think I, I hope that continues. I hope that helps elevate, you know, some of the other guys to, um, you know, new heights. Neil? Hey, Coach, how do you assess the team's body language right now? And how is that just difficult to try and, you know, counteract? Well, you're, you're fighting human nature. I mean, because when things aren't going well, naturally, it's, it's tough to, you know, um, always present you know, your body language in the correct manner. You know, it's, it's a healthy reminder. We have to kind of remind guys of the impact of that and that it, it's important to kind of keep you know, a positive mindset. It doesn't mean we don't you know, correct things that are, aren't going well, um, but you got to coach them up. So I'm, I'm mindful of it, you know, where as a coach, I don't react or overreact to every possession. Um, and I think it's, it's important for our guys to realize the impact that that body language may have on their teammates. Um, so it, it, it's tough at times, you know, because things haven't been going well, but it uh, certainly something that they have to be mindful of. I don't know, brother. <laughs> Every game is different. Um, so we're in the right right now. Uh, I don't know. Nobody going to feel bad for us, brother. Uh, we got to figure it out. Um, prepare for another one in uh, Utah. Um, man, multiple areas, brother. As you see, we're losing games now. As opposed to how we was guarding earlier, um, we had some care. We had some fight, um, you know, competitiveness about ourselves. Uh, and I don't know what happened, honestly. Uh, so, I mean, there's a lot of areas that we can get better on the defense end because, as you can see, um, we're piling up a bunch of losses right now. So. Uh, be honest with you, brother, I don't know, man. Talking ain't going to do nothing, brother. We could talk, you know, me and you talking right now, that ain't going to do shit. So we can talk about a lot, man, but, you know, it's not going to matter until you actually go out there and put forth the effort and actually carry it over to the floor. So. Um, I don't know. Honestly, I guess both, brother, because uh, uh, we never got over the hump. So, I mean, I guess both. Uh, 
I said they, they're a good um, basketball team. They've been together for a while. They know their system in and out, um, what they want to get to and how they want to play. Um, and, you know, we didn't we didn't take them out of any of that. You know, they came in and they, you know, shot the ball, um, wide open threes. Uh, we couldn't get a catch. Um, you know, they was forcing us up the floor and stuff. Um, it's more physical than we were tonight. Um, it's a lot of different aspects. So, you know, they just play harder um, on both ends of the floor than that. Simple as that. Like I said, in the, the day, brother, nobody's going to feel bad for us. You know, teams are going to continue to just keep beating our ass until we figure it out. Um, I, mean, I don't know, brother. Um, it's not my job. I'm not the head coach. I don't know what he feels is lacking. I don't know what he feels that. You know we're doing wrong. Um, me as a player, you know, I just feel like that we're not competing hard, um, and we think things are just gonna, you know, be given to us, or we're just gonna be able to kind of just turn it on, brother. We're not that team. Uh, told you guys, uh, told you this earlier when we had those earlier wins. We're not that team that could just flip the switch on and off, brother. We got to come in, be ready to compete every night um, versus every team. Something like that. Chase. Hey, Trez, um, how do you guys keep morale up and just keep your spirits up as you guys take not only some losses, but, you know, lately it's been some games where you guys go down by quite a bit? Um, I say I don't know, brother. Um, if you really got to, you know, keep your spirits up and, you know, be fired up and energized to play this game of basketball that you get paid millions of dollars to do, brother, I don't know. Obviously, you might be in the wrong sport, but, you know, I couldn't tell you. And for you, is there um, – how would you kind of classify your season so far? Obviously, the first 20 games, you know, double figures every game. Lately, it's been a little bit different. I mean, overall, you've you've had a great year, but what, how would you describe your play lately, I guess? I'm playing the right way, brother. Simple as that. I'm doing what the team is asking me to do, brother. I'm exposed to how I started out the season, man. Hey, we was playing one way, but we was going with, you know, a certain different, you know, variety of things that was working for us, you know, and it's not happening now, but then we're going to continue to play the right way. It's not about me. Uh, it's about the team. I can't go out there and take every shot. I can't go out there and win the game for us. You know, it's about us as a team. But as far as my play, brother, it is what it is, man. Like I said, I go in and just play the right way and just try to come out with energy and just hoping that my teammates do the right job of, you know, feeding off of me and just, um, you know, picking back up of, uh, picking back up off the energy that I'm bringing. Simple as that. Um, as far as like how I assess my season, brother, I don't know. Um, it's still a lot more to be played. It's still a lot long. Um, it's still a long season to go. So we'll figure it out. Ava, Trez, when you guys were hanging with them tonight uh, early on, especially in the first quarter, when that starts to slip, what were you seeing? Was it something their defense you're doing energy tactically? Like, what was the reason there? Um. I don't know, honestly. I mean, I don't, I don't really know, like, what more, uh, you know, kind of asking. Uh, what can you, like, tell me, like, what more so you're asking this question? Yeah, so, I mean, you guys were hanging with them in the first quarter and doing fine on offense, and it was definitely, like, more of a shootout. And when that's, when they go on that run in the second quarter, obviously it comes from the defense. But when, you're, when your offense kind of isn't able to keep up anymore, that's just coming from your – Taking the ball out of the hoop every time you can't get settled on defense, or is it something they're doing? Um, I don't know. Like I said, obviously they're a good basketball team and they've been together for a while. But honestly, um, you just said it. Um, you know, at the end of the day, we can't go shot for shot with a team like that. This is a team that has been to the finals and you know has been in this situation on you know winning at a higher caliber level um, as a team than we have. Um, at the end of the day, um, as far as you know, you know what kind of you know stop working for us, I guess it's basically hot offense, man. Once we stop being able to hit shots and, you know, the ball started going in the basket, we stopped going down the other end and they ran away with it. So, you know, you just basically answer the question. You've seen it. Um, you know, once we stop, make, uh, stop making shots, once we started missing, you know, they started, the lead started stretching out, so. I know it's impossible to compare groups in the past, but have you been on a team like this before where the chemistry is there so much in the beginning and then it seems, I don't know if that's, the right thing to say, you know, chemistry, but where there's that much slippage um, at this point? Um, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't, I don't really pay attention to too many seasons after the one that I'm in, honestly. So, 
Uh, I can't tell you what happened with the past years or, you know, what happened in the past teams. Um, you know, I know right now that we started off hot and, you know, we have been playing a certain way. Um, and when it was coming to the point where we was winning, uh, we just thought the, the remedy was going to carry over. Um, it's not the case. Uh, teams don't watch film. They're coming to figure out what we want to get to. And, you know, I just think that we're at the point where we're thinking that, um, you know, that shit is just going to change over overnight or, you know, the things that they're watching is going to, you know, magically continue to keep working. I mean, these are NBA players that get paid to, you know, play the same game that we do. So they watch film, you know, they watch, they break down what we do. So um, we got to figure it out. Like I said, you know, nobody's going to feel bad for us. Um, team's going to continue to beat our ass until we figure it out. Um, it's very frustrating, you know, Every day we're trying to find that way, you know, to get over that hump. Uh, and this seems not it's not going our way. Uh, but uh, it's, 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 it's frustrating, you know, but we got to stay with it, you know, and try to overcome the adversity of what's going on right now. Do you have a sense that every team struggles at this point? Yeah. That you can think of the No, for sure. <laughs> I mean, it's all boils down to that communication, you know, trusting each other, you know, being, you know, being able to, you know, rely on each other, you know, uh, being able to take criticism from each other. Uh, it's a lot that goes into it. Um, and, you know, we, we know we're losing right now, but we can't let that dictate, you know, I will play, you know, and I'll trust with each other. You know, we, we got to find a way to just, you know, get it done, you know, get do our job and just get it done. Um, I would say we have it, but I would say not enough. Um, you know, we have them talks uh, individually as a group. Um, I just feel like it's, it's not enough of them. Uh, we still, everybody is still new. Uh, you know, some guys are returning guys um, that have been here for a minute and played with each other. Uh, but other guys are still new, still learning. You know, a lot of stuff that we've been doing has, has been on the go. And so we've been learning on, it, on the fly. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, we, we, we professionals. Um, and I, I feel like we we just got to get the job done. Um. Yeah, I, I would say our our team believe in, in in what we got going on, you know, and what uh Wes, you know, is preparing for us uh, each and every day. Um, it's just all about just applying it on the court. You know, we 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 can go into film, you know, we can talk about it every day. We can practice as much as possible, you know, but we also, we just gotta, we gotta transfer it to the games. Um, and that's what we uh, have in the slippage yet. You know, we're not uh, transferring like what we get from film or like what we do in practice to game time. Um, and it's been slipping a lot. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's that's in the back of our, that we we want to get back to that. You know, that's you know our priority. We want to get back to how we started the season. You know, when we went ten uh, ten and three, uh, we want to we want to get back to that. You know, but um, I feel like the more conversation we have, the more we we're gonna figure out you know what it, what it really is. Um, um, I think right now we 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 lacking that communication with each other. Um, when we started, I feel like we, our defensive man was, was tremendous. Uh, offensive man just came no matter who was scoring the ball. Uh, you know, we played freely. You know, the ball was moving. You know, everybody, you know, was enjoying the game at, at that time. Um, and you know, everybody, you know, had to sit, you know, we, we still have the same mindset of winning. You know, it's just all about just putting it together. Um,
like the more we can do that, you know, the, the better we can be. Neil. Hey, KCP, it looked like you were like putting a heating pad on your elbow or something. How is that? How is that ailing you? How are you feeling after that? Uh, I'm good. You know, um, that offensive foul kind of like just fell on my elbow uh, a little bit. You know, um, it was already bruised once before. Uh, just re-injured it a little bit. Uh, I'm, I'm fine. I iced it. I should be fine the next day. Thanks, KCP. Christos. Hey, KCP. Hope you're doing well. From your perspective, what is the biggest issue that you have to, res- to solve to be back on the winning column as a team? Uh, we got to solve the defensive end first. Um, and we got, we know we can score the ball, we can put points up, but we got to be able to get stops, you know, uh, and individually, we got to be able to, you know, guard our man, you know, and like I said earlier, you know, have that trust factor. If I'm going to get, if I'm going to be, be, get beat, you know, I got to have my teammates behind me knowing, knowing they're going to be there. Uh, so it's a, a lot that goes into that, you know, but you know, we all just got to start trusting each other and, and just believing again. Speaking about the trust, do you feel that you are not on the same page as a team right now? Um, as far as winning, we on the same page. Uh, you know, we all want to win. You know, we all want to find that way um, to get back to where we were on you know, the start of the season. Um, so you know, we all just you know chiming in, trying to figure it out. Um, and I feel like a lot of it is confusion. You know, um, where we. You know, we're doing one thing and then, you know, it's another thing that, you know, everybody's on, I'm not, everybody's not on the same page on the court as far as like, you know, what, what we're going to do. You know, um, I feel like we got to get better at that, you know, um, can't mess up plays coming out of ATOs. Um, there's a lot of things that we, we got to fix, you know, um, that can change a lot. Thanks, KCP. Thanks, Neil.